coming up to a set of lights here. Uh, the light's green, but it's been green for a while. So what would you be worried about? Uh, light changing to yeah. amber. Yeah, so we're gonna check. We're past that point of no return that we call it. Right. Yeah. Again, right, a lot of this stuff was taken up in the online course. You might not remember all of it. So point of no return is is when you're approaching a stale green light, here's another one in front of us, right? We're gonna make a, de we're gonna make a decision based on our speed um, the road surface, which is dry today, it's fairly warm. And actually what's behind us as well, right? So if you check that mirror, right? There is a truck behind us. If we jammed on the brakes and he was too close, he could rear end us, right? Yes. So imagine if that was a transport truck, 80,000 pound transport truck. He's got a lot more energy in that truck if he had to stop it, right? Yes. So yeah, we want to take that into consideration too, okay? So the biggest factor would always be your speed. The faster you're going, the longer it's going to take you to stop. So, so this light will change any second. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So yeah. Good. So all right. So you hadn't even made that point in no return decision yet, which means that you know we're going to stop, right? But we'd always check our mirror. Yes. Anytime your foot's going for the brake, you should be checking that mirror, right? Yes. All right. You should be checking it routinely as you're driving down the road. Um, you should check it after you turn on to a new road, okay? Yeah. Um, it just lessens the fact that um, uh, you're going to get rear-ended. I always like to say it's kind of like, okay, if you've ever played sports like soccer or hockey or something like that, it's having that sort of 360-degree awareness, right? I mean, you don't need to know what color the person's eyes are behind or beside you or whatever, right? But you know that there's somebody there in your blind spot or they're going through your blind spot, that type of thing, okay? So, you know, I, I could literally just sort of stop time and I could say, okay, what's going on around you? And you can say, well, there's a red car and he's coming through my blind spot, there he is, mm -hmm. you know, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah. So you really have a, a good awareness. And once you can do that, lane changes will be a lot easier, okay? If you're watching your parents or somebody make lane changes and you're like, why don't they struggle like I do? I mean, it's the fact that that you know they are very aware of what's going on around them and then when they go to make their lane change they're just kind of double checking okay, okay. yeah